It was a beautiful weekend. It was a very fantastic weekend. It was a disappointing moment and it was a fascinating moment for all the clubs. As a matter of fact, Manchester United were humiliated. Should I call that a humiliation or I should call it an embarrassment? Let me quickly bring to you the result of the matches that were played over the weekend. Then I can never forget my name. My name is MC Ramsey, the man with Jesse number 10. And of course, I'm taking you through the spot for the day. How did it really happen on Saturday? Saturday was a very fantastic one as Crystal Palace and Liverpool had it very hot and it was a, a 1-2. Liverpool to then Crystal Palace even playing at home. They had just one goal. Then Britain and Hoven Albion and Burnley. It was 1-1. Then talking about Manchester United and Bournemouth. That was an embarrassment. That was a disgrace for Manchester United. I am wondering where my fans will actually hide their face. That match ended 3-0. Uh, Manchester United lost a woefully then moving away from there, we have Sheffield United and Brentford and that match ended 1-0. Uh, then Wolves, then, uh, well, uh, I don't know how it actually happened, but then uh, Nottingham Forest couldn't make it despite the struggle. That match ended 1-1. Then Aston Villa and Asna. Asna lost again. Asna's loss continues. Uh, Asna's war continues. Uh, Asna's uh, injury continues. I'm not talking about uh, players having injury, but then uh, when they said uh, Sot and Pepe mixed together, for Asna, it was a very, very pathetic one as they lost again to Aston Villa. 1-0 was how that match ended. Then we moved to Sunday straight ahead to bring you the result of the matches that we actually played on Sunday. Sunday was another time again, but then how did it really happen? A demolition for Chelsea. Chelsea, I don't really know what is happening. Their flag has been down for a very long time. It is an embarrassment again coming from Everton as Chelsea lost a 2-0 to Everton. Then uh, West Ham United lost to Fulham, that match ended at 5 0. Then uh, Luton Town and Manchester City. Manchester City were able to make it this time, even though Luton were playing at home. Uh, that match ended uh, uh, 1 2 in favor of uh, Manchester City. Then uh, Tottenham Hotspot and Newcastle United was another time of embarrassment, another time of disgrace. Again, how did it really end? It? What is the result of that game? That game ended in favor of Tottenham and they had just uh, four goals to one. Well, that was a beautiful one but then uh, Everton's second win in four days uh, kept uh, the St. Dyke side uh, climbing the Premier League table as a toothless uh, Chelsea actually found Goodison Park to be as difficult a place as Newcastle in a 2-0 defeat. Now, won just twice in eight league games. Uh, then Fulham were able to hit five goals uh, for the second time in a week as they were able to trash West Ham at Graven Cottage to move into the top half of the Premier League. The floodgates have certainly opened for the White in recent weeks with David Moyes men, the latest side to be put to the world. The world was a very difficult one as a different scorer struck in a fine 5-0 home win just for this after a Fulham beat at Nottingham Forest by the same scoreline. That was how it actually happened. The Manchester Manchester City, like I said, we are able to survive a scar at Luton to end their four-match winless run in the Premier League with a 2-1 victory with the star striker Ellen Haaland absent due to injury, but then it was still a good one. Then Pep Guardiola side a trail to Elijah Adebayo's goal late in the first half at uh, the Kenilwater Road, but after uh, squandering a host of chances, City finally click into a very clear one with two goals in three minutes after the break. Uh, then Atletico were able to end a narrow win. Mm. How did it happen? How did it happen? Well, their own sides, Almera, as they also climbed the provisionally third in La Liga with a tight 2-1 win over bottom of the table, Almera, on Sunday. Diego Simone's uh, Red Blackers uh, took an early two goals lead uh, through Alvaro Morata and Alga de Correa, but Leo Baptista pulled Almera into the game after an hour. That was a very fantastic game coming right there. Then a shock Spanish title contender talking about Girona. We are able to end a historic 4-2 win over rivals Barcelona. What's happening to the Barcelonians? Oh no, I don't know. But then since uh, Messi left, I don't know. A lot of people don't even have interest in the La Liga anymore. But then it was a very, very, very humiliating 1-4-2 win over rivals uh, Barcelona on Sunday to move top of the La Liga game. 
game. And Michael side were able uh, to beat their Catalan rivals for the first time ever in the top of the flight in a persuading battle to rise two points above Real Madrid. Then a second out of their 1-1 draw at Real Betis on Saturday, a champions Barcelona are fought after Atletico Madrid. Well, third beat Almera earlier on and Xavi's side trailed Girona by seven points right now as I speak to you from the La Liga table. Then now, uh, let's go on a quick break. When we return again, we'll bring to you what is happening from Africa and what is happening from Nigeria. My name is MC Ramsey, the man with jersey number 10, pushing it right now from the midfield. I'm going to the dressing room. I just want to take a sip. I'll return again for another big, 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 big and bigger story. Don't go nowhere. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Well, it's so good to have you back from that wonderful break. Well, I've got a sip from the dressing room and you can see that I'm moving into the pitch right now so that I can drop it hot, 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 hot. I see it happen. All right, as a matter of fact, let's begin from Africa right now. Let's talk about one of our wonderful players from Nigeria. Of course, I'm talking about Victor Simen, who has actually been criticized for taunting a Juventus fan. Uh, he is also facing a very tough battle for CAF Best Player Award ahead of the 2023 CAF Award in Morocco. According to the information, Abiodun Adewale writes uh, and on the potential of Nigerian players dominating the award uh, and the chances of Victor Simon winning Nigeria's first men's uh, uh, POTY award for the first time in 24 years. Uh, for the past 24 years, no Nigerian has won this award. Will Simon win it this time? That is the big question. The last person that won it, I will tell you who the person is, but then just keep following, keep listening. Uh, well, if winning the Afghan for the fourth time and first time in 10 years uh, is the only yardstick uh, for Nigeria supposed a prowess in African football, then those of that belong to the school of thought uh, might be missing some other important areas that could spark uh, another continental dominance once more. Well, as a matter of fact, the last time the Super Eagles ever won the African AFCON was in South Africa in 2013, and it's uh, going to be almost 11 years by the time the 2020 three tournament kicks off in Ivory Coast January 13th. But one thing that is uh, worthy of remembrance is the fact that the last time a Nigerian was named the African Player of the Year was in 1999 and that was Kanu Wangpo. Kanu Wangpo was named uh, the African Player of the Year and that was a very long time. You remember the performance uh, of the Super Eagles that time. But the question is this, do we still have that class uh, of Super Eagles again? Let me move away from there and bring you straight to what is happening from the uh, Confederation Cup, uh, the African Confederation Cup, uh, Rivers uh, United, Rivers United, I mean Rivers United, our own boys right here, we are able to pay uh, a club African, Nigeria's uh, representative in the CAF Confederation, uh, uh, we are able to surprise uh, and come up with something very, very good and beautiful from the Confederation Cup. Rivers United got their campaign back again on track after the defeated Group C leaders. I'm talking about Club African of Tunisia. 1-0. That match was played back at home in Uyo. If they go out of Uyo, will they be able to do the same thing? Uh, and that followed a 2-0 loss uh, that they suffer at the Dreams FC of Ghana the previous week. Uh, the Nigerian flag bearers now have six points from three matches, uh, same as Club Africana, uh, who thought uh, and went through. Oh, man, I don't know, but then it was a very, very sweet game for me. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, a better goal is still going to come. Uh, the Portacourt Club will, on December 20th, 2023, face a rematch with Club African in Tunis in continuation of the continental competition. Would they be able to do something spectacular again from that axis? If they are able to do something spectacular, because just one goal is not enough even though they got the three points already coming back home would they be able to do it or they are going to fail again like Chelsea and Manchester United is failing and disappointing their fans well may their case not be like that of Chelsea and Manchester United hey 
now, 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 this is sport. This is sport. This is sport. And we bring you the facts, man. All right, let's quickly move coming down to Nigeria and let's see what is happening from the Nigeria Professional Football League as Enyimba of Abaria able to edge uh, Abia Warriors as Plat United also shot down Tornados uh, in Mina, Niger State. Uh, two goals uh, from Happy Kutoslam Eze who came in uh, uh, to score that goal. Uh, well, that goal was a very fantastic one and it came on at the 39th minute uh, and Chidiye Buried Diamond Nachi also in the 57th minute were uh, enough uh, to give Enyimba a 2 1 victory over Abia Warriors in the Abia Derby decided yesterday in Aba. That is a derby. I uh, told you on uh, Friday during the sport that it is a derby to look forward to. And of course, uh, my uh, guest here talked about that. And well, it was, it was what we actually told you on Friday. What about Remo Stars? They were able to continue their steady match up on the table with a 2 0 defeat of uh, Quara, 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 Quara United. Well, Quara United lately, I don't know what's happening, but then I think uh, even playing at home, they were still on top of their game, despite the fact that it ended the way it ended. Olamile uh, Adams Alade opened the scoring for the people boys are in the 25th minute uh, with Samad Kadiri cementing the win with the second goal in the 59th minute. Uh, Aqua United, uh, Bendel Insurance recorded the 1-0 victories uh, over Lobby Stars and Sunshine Stars uh, respectively. I don't know why what happened to Lobby Stars of Benue State despite what is happening. I could remember what happened lately. Well, Adamu visited Benway State and they talked so much about uh, Lobby Star and of course uh, the Benway Football Association chairman talking about uh, a barrister uh, Ede. He was also there, Paul Ede. He was also there and they spoke very well and a lot of encouragement and the stadium uh, for Lobby Stars will soon be coming up as it has been promised uh, by the uh, governor of Benway State talking about earlier instead of them going to play their home matches uh, in National Hour, they will be playing in uh, in Benue State, but Lobby Star couldn't make it this weekend. Sunshine Stars uh, were not able to make it too. While Bayelsa United uh, spanked Enugu Rangers 2 0, but the winner of the day belonged to Plati United, who went to Mina to beat Niger Tornadoes back at home in Mina. They were able to make it, but then it was just one goal difference. Uh, that match ended uh, uh, 3 2. And uh, I want to say congratulations to all the teams uh, that actually made it uh, uh, this weekend. It was a very fantastic one it was a beautiful weekend i am coming on your way again but not today anymore i just need to go back uh, to the dressing room because uh, the referee have already blown the whistle for full time and i can't go for that anymore who i be to continue when referee don't say it is enough it is time well my time is up for today and this is the much we're having on sport russia keep your eyes are on the screen every time and watch out for the next story that will be coming on Sports Rush. I still remain your, the man with the number 10 jersey right out of the middle there making things happen on Sports Rush. Uh, have a beautiful time. Have a beautiful week ahead of you. My name still remains MC Ramsey. Bye-bye and have a wonderful and sweet day.